I am a, uh, a psychologist at the medical school here at the University of Michigan, uh, but I have been spending most of my career on um, medical education and uh, educational research and development. So my role in the program was to uh, spearhead its initiation, to recruit collaborators and faculty to teach in the master's program, and then for 10 years I directed it. Competency-based education, as re realized in our master's program, is a individually student-driven program. So the students decide for themselves their learning plan, which involves both what competencies they are acquiring, what sequence and what activities they use to do this learning, uh, and to demonstrate their their competence in um, in a rigorous assessment process. The other key part of the competency-based program is that it's time flexible. Good candidate is someone who has educational responsibilities as part of their day job, so that they can take these educational roles and responsibilities and use them as learning vehicles, opportunities to acquire these competencies. We have faculty in the program as learners who are uh, non-clinicians, uh, basic science PhD. We have several who are directors of simulation programs. For people who are still at the very early stages of their career, but know that they want to make education a big part of it, can acquire these skills very early on. You know, we try to make this a program that fits into your day job, um, but there are still, it's important to recognize that it's still additional work. So it's, we try to um, leverage the things that are happening anyway to give, give double duty, uh, double benefit from it, but it still is um, time that you need to spend in reading, uh, writing up the um, the EPAs, the reports on your competence for the evidence that we need to grant credit for those uh, competencies. That I would have people recognize uh, that they will um, that their success depends on the support of the program, but also their own uh, discipline. So I'm actually most proud of the fact that we said we were going to do a competency-based program and we did it. Uh, we did it rigorously. Uh, so it wasn't just a label we gave to the program, but we've actually been able to put all of those principles of competency-based ed education into practice and make it work. I'm also just very proud of our, um, our, our learners. Again, just to reiterate, they are great people, smart, lively, intelligent, very motivated, and it's just wonderful to see them uh, be successful in their careers. Graduates of the program um, are often the people that we recruit to fulfill faculty roles in, in the master's program. So it, we, because we need a variety of faculty who are subject matter experts in a particular area, uh, they are focusing on assessment. Uh, so we have a, a, an assessment panel uh, that we need faculty judges to evaluate outcomes, and then we need mentors. And each of these are, um, again, one-on-one -on -one relationships. So we need a fair number of faculty for small, relatively small amounts of time. And we found that many of our graduates are very, uh, very happy, very eager to continue in the program as a faculty member, uh, to serve as a mentor or a, uh, an assessor and give them the opportunity to not only continue to learn, but also to put what they have learned into practice in these various roles.